Hey everyone, it's uh, Chuck McAfee and Mark Berry uh, with McPhee Realty Group uh, coming at you today from uh, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services down in the Buckhead uh, office. And really just wanted to come in front of everyone today and kind of give them a little bit of an update on what's going on in the Atlanta marketplace and really kind of re-engage with our clients and our sphere and our, and our friends and family that are out there. You know, we've been very fortunate over the last six years to be the number one team in, in the Buckhead office. On average, we're selling over 100 houses a year over the last four years. And so it's needless to say that we absolutely love what we do, but we want to help you. I mean, we, want, we get a ton of questions throughout the day, and we really want to kind of engage with everyone. This is intended to be pretty interactive. Yeah, interactive. So, feel free to uh, comment below, and then we'll answer any questions at the end. Yeah, so again, we're, we're going to talk, cover today a few different topics that we hear pretty frequently. But if you have some other comments or some other feedback or questions you want covered, that we maybe don't cover today, please yeah. make some comments. Um, we'll definitely try to entertain those today, and if we don't, we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can, of course. But, you know, one of the, one of the top three, some of the top three questions we get, or I get, I know you yeah, get them as well, well yeah. um, is kind of how is the market? Is there another bubble coming? Where's the market going? And, and kind of what's my homework, Chuck? I mean, how, how do I know how much my house is worth? Is it a good time to sell? Is it a good time to buy? And so we want to cover these three different topics with you all today. And again, we're not going to cover every marketplace. And, and by no means is this uh, a predictive ball of where the land of market's going. But based on our expertise and based on our knowledge, we're going to kind of give you a little snapshot of what's going on in the market. So we've pulled four different cities just here in the metro Atlanta area. And um, Chuck, we'll start off with uh, Brookhaven. Yeah, so, so really what we wanted to do is just show you kind of, okay, how is the market doing and kind of where is it going? And some of the best way to do that is capture and kind of look at some of the data. Yeah. So if you look at the Brookhaven market up here on the top, you know what, most people are gonna know Brookhaven, Buckhead, Alpharetta, Roswell. Um, we picked these four today just because it, it's just an, uh, a pretty good summary of, of how the Atlanta market's doing. But if you're in Decula or Johns Creek or Decatur and you wanna know specifically what's going on in your marketplace, Shoot us a comment, send us a note, let us know, uh, and we'll get back with you as soon as we possibly can. But we kind of picked these four today to kind of highlight in one of our first videos. And, and you're going to hopefully see us more often. So um, kind of stay tuned and uh, you, you'll hear us a little bit more. But kind of jumping into the Brookhaven market, if you look, uh, inventory is actually up 27% year over year. So you hear in the national media that there's no houses available, there's a housing shortage. And that's true. That's probably true for most of these markets that we're talking about. But the good thing is inventory in Brookhaven is becoming a little bit more accessible, a little bit more available. Uh, month over month, inventory is up 2%. Kind of makes sense given the seasonality of our industry. You're going to see a little bit of up, uptick in the spring selling time frame. Um, so that, that's great to see that more and more homes are becoming available because it's tough. It, it is tough to be a buyer in, in all of these markets. It's in very all reality. competitive, like lots of multiple offer situations. Yeah, so we're, we're glad to see some more homes become available. Um, one other thing, you, you watching this video, you may be surprised, but the median list price, so the median list price in Brookhaven in 2016 was $1.24 million. That's kind of slipped a little bit in 2017 to 1.2 million. Again, still big numbers. And then you kind of, which is very telling, is you kind of jump over to this median sold price. So where are the buyers at? Where are people spending their money? Uh, in 2016, our median sold price was $710,000. We had a pretty good dip in April of 2017, just below $500,000. And it's nice to see prices are kind of swinging back up again, depending on which side of the spectrum you're at. But prices in May were right at under $600,000 from a median sold price. So that's great, Chuck. But what, so, so what does that mean? Well, if you're a buyer, and if you're a buyer kind of in that five fifty, dollars really $600,000 and below pricing, there's not a lot of homes for sale. And, and things that are selling are selling fairly quickly and it's a very hyper-competitive market. On the flip side, if you're a seller, um, if you're a seller in that market, you're in a great position. It's very much a seller's market. Um, if you're a seller potentially in the higher-end marketplace, though, um, there's just not as many buyers, and the days on the market may be a little bit higher, and it's much more a buyer's market in this $1.2 million price point. So it really depends, kind of the question is, how's the market? <laughs> the question, the answer is it depends. It depends which side of the spectrum you're on. Right. And kind of which market you're focusing on, but where where do we kind of see this Brook? Continue to see this price increase in this Brookhaven marketplace. I don't see it slowing down anytime soon. The higher end stuff has probably slipped a little bit and has tapered off. You can see back in 2016 there was a lot more people at a lot of higher price. Um, not to say that that's not coming because we again I, I strongly believe 
that this market will continue to rise and continue to climb. So Brookhaven market, you're looking super strong. Um, jumping down in the Buckhead market, most people in Metro Atlanta know Buckhead. They know it's pretty sought after. Uh, they know it's a, a typically your more expensive price points. And that's going to kind of ring true a little bit on what we're, we'll show you today. Um, the interesting part is we did not see kind of the seasonality uptick as far as inventory available goes in the Buckhead market. Actually, inventory is down year over year by 2%. So again, very competitive market. There's not a lot of homes for sale. Uh, and those numbers are down 2% year over year. Month over month, it's down 1%. So even less homes are available uh, as we're talking. Kind of jump into some of the pricing. So the median list price in Buckhead in 2016 was 1.14 million. This year it's 1.25 million. Prices are going up. Median sold price, again, kind of jumping into where's where's a lot of the activity. Uh, in 2016, you were looking at a median sales price just under 700,000. 2017, we're up to 750. So, so prices are going up in both these marketplaces. And that's going to kind of reign true for, for the other two as well. But I'll let Mark yeah, talk about Yeah, I mean, it's tons of similarities within these markets, given this time. Uh, Alpharetta, for example, there is a downturn with how many homes are available. So it's 14% less homes year over year. And month over month, we see a little bit of a tick. And that could be due to maybe, like you said, seasonality, summer, people are looking for their next place to go. And then uh, in the median list price, you do see the increase, and it reflects the increase in the median sold price as well. So in the Alpharetta market, we see an increase, an increasing market. And uh, maybe due to like Avalon, a lot of things are going on downtown Alpharetta. They got the food trucks, you know, lots of little- No, and schools drive a lot of this as well, right? Yeah. So a lot of the, these four areas that we're talking about are very strong, typically school. Yeah. Um, driving factors for folks. And so again, Alfred, as most people know, right. is pretty sought after marketplace. Roswell, very similar. Um, year over year, uh, we have a 14% increase of homes available uh, from May to May, uh, 2016 to 2017. Month to month, that's staggering. 12% increase, so there's actually a lot more homes. There's a lot thi more things moving in this market. And uh, median list price, you have an increase there that reflects the increase in the sold sold price as well. So, Roswell overall is a very increasing market. M many of you probably know it's like on fire right now. It's a very hot market to be in uh, downtown Roswell, Canton Street. Um, so yeah, I mean that about sums up where we are. Yeah, and so so we kind of picked these four markets today. It's it's kind of easy to say, yeah, Chuck, these these mark these guys. This is the where everyone wants to be, right? And so what does that mean? And and why did you kind of pick these? And part of why we want to pick these to show you that. Is there a bubble coming? No, I don't think so. Um, I think you're going to continue to see price appreciation. You're going to continue to see price growth and, and things are on fire. Um, we do a lot of new construction as well and I deal with a lot of builders and we've been talking about, hey, where's the growth? Atlanta's forecasted to have over 2 million people come to the city within the next 10 years. A lot of big companies are yeah, moving here. There, there's a lot going on. So pricing it looks looks very optimistic. You know, th these areas as well draw a lot of attention because of the walkability. More and more and more, we're talking to clients and say, Chuck, you know what? I don't, I don't want to deal with traffic. I'm tired of 400. I'm tired of 85. I want to be where I can walk to a restaurant. I can walk to things. And, and all of these cities really kind of offer those unique features, as well as many other parts of Atlanta, obviously, Ansley Park and Decatur and things like that. So mm -hmm. if we didn't touch your market today and you had a question about a marketplace, please feel free to reach out to us. Yeah. Um, reach out. Give us a call. Uh, like this video. Uh, feel free to share it. And also, uh, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below, and we'll we'll reach out to you. Um, kind of one of the last questions we get quite often, um, and is is one more not one of the tough ones, but it's it's tough from a consumer's perspective. Is hey Chuck, what is my home worth? Right. You know, there's all of these online tools out there, and we're a huge believer in a lot of these tools. I love Zillow, I love Realtor.com. All those tools are very very beneficial. Um, the problem is that a lot of the data is not the most accurate. You know, yeah. For that one example in Brookhaven, yeah, the home was the estimate said it was under four hundred thousand, but it ended up selling for nine hundred thousand. It was due to Zillow couldn't recognize that that was a new construction home, so a lot of the information just uh, will fall through there. But I mean, it, otherwise, it's a great tool to use. Um, but until you need that market expert, bring someone else in that's uh, on top of it. Yeah, and another good example, and it's a little bit more challenging when you're a seller, is that 
some of these tools tell you your house is worth X, right? I have a, a client that her house says, per his estimates, worth seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Beautiful home in Johns Creek, great location. You know, in all reality, though, when you looked at the market data and you looked at what's going on in the, in the area, uh, the home ultimately actually sold for six hundred fifty thousand dollars, right where it should have. And so, it's great tools out there. Um, they're a kind of a good barometer for the most part. Mark's example is a little extreme because, again, they just didn't have the right data, so they were on didn't know what they were working yeah, they're with. going off tax records and yeah and now some other data that's out there so you, you really need somebody that does this day in and day out and yeah. we've been fortunate the last four years selling over 100 houses a year at an average list to sold price to 98 percent so we can price some homes and we understand what the market's doing and the cool part is that we don't service just these four areas um yes we we know all the different parts of atlanta right marietta coming Duluth, Johns Creek. We go all over. Um, so yeah, if you live outside of these four areas, don't hesitate to still reach out to us. We sell a lot of homes all throughout Metro Atlanta. So if there's any questions we can ask. You know. So thank you guys for watching this uh, video and we definitely look forward to hearing from you. And again, just please like, share, and look forward to connecting with you. Y'all have a great day. See ya.